Oh, yes, please come. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, you too. Also, please come. Sit. I only have a moment, but I'd love to tell you a story. First, let me introduce myself. I am the daughter of Jephthah from Mizpah. Oh, you're not familiar. Today, you have all your scrolls in one book. This is very, very easy and simple. When you need one of the parts, you go to the name of it. I love this. My story is in what's called the Book of Judges because my father, Jephthah, was a judge in Israel long, long ago. Now, he was strong and handsome. I can say this because I was very fond of him and I loved him very much. But it's true. I was his beloved and only child. Now, he was also very brave. Impulsive? Aye, but brave. That's what made him such a good judge. Long story short, he was asked to come and uh, battle some of our enemies, the Ammonites. And he did. He devastated them. Twenty towns he destroyed. It was a huge victory. All because he made a vow. He didn't know it at the time. But I was the fulfillment of this vow. Oy. Now, of course, I am much older today than I was then. I was just a girl. A girl in those days, in that story that you've read. No, the story that you need to read. Here is where the confusion comes in. No one knows for sure what happened to me in the story. Did my father kill me? Did he offer me up as a human sacrifice? Was he able to do to me what our father Abraham could not do with Isaac? Well, I'm not going to say another word about it because I'm told there's a ladies' Bible study that meets right here in this synagogue and you can go and learn it all there. Oh, ladies only, of course. Uh, it's not for men. I mean, we all know men already know everything. But ladies, if you come here to the synagogue at 7 on what you call Monday nights, you, you will learn my story and many other stories of women from the Bible. I recommend that you come as often as you can, as often as possible. No pressure. I mean, I know we all have things to do. In fact, right now, I must get back to my prayers. Thank you so much for your time. Come again. I'll tell another story. Shalom.